Welcome back to Troubleshooter. Um, in this episode today, we're going to go ahead and just take a real quick look at the new content. And we're going to go to the Shooter Street uh, in the Windwall District. And I want to show you what they've added in, at the Shooter Street area. I think it's really important what they've added. Uh, by they, I mean the developer, Dandelion. This game is still in early access, so what you may see here at the time of this recording won't reflect what will be going on by the time this comes out of early access. They haven't really released a date to when it will be out. Um, they have already finished a good portion of the game. I would say they have at least 40 hours of gameplay. Um, and... If you're not familiar with this game, it is like a... It's, it's similar, it has gameplay similar to XCOM um, with an RP, with a anime aesthetic and with RPG mechanics often. Um, it's also not as harsh as XCOM in the way that it doesn't have like an Iron Man mode yet or anything like that to where it's more of a hardcore setting. It's more more casual I would say um, in terms of just the difficulty in general. Nothing wrong with that. I do like my casual games from time to time. Um, we're going to go ahead. So we have the junk shop here with million thousand and uh, he has um, the metal parts and some of these so I think I'll just buy some of these Magena upgraded metal parts I have some items I can build with those so I'll do some crafting with that I'll buy those he also has the chip powers which are, which are good if you're trying to still craft those up I'm not really interested in those right now. I'm going to just go ahead and exit out of here for now and show you what we got up here. So we have an armor store with Dembel Gardener. Strong but light armor. So he's more of a... Wrist guards. Really nothing I'm interested in here. I'm going to go ahead and exit out. This is a great enhancement to this game. Um, so we have a weapon shop here on the side. Oleg, Mesolov, and so this is more of a, yeah, it's just an, it's just an uh, item shop. Kind of just check and see what I've got is already quite a bit better. I mean, that gives a lot of ESP power. I'm just going to leave it at, at the moment. I love this. I love this enhancement. Okay. I love this enhancement because it lets you... Um, the main reason is here. here is a... Sidestone vendor. So, this cuts out the grind of the game so much. I've made several videos where I'm just grinding these elements. And as you can see, there's many... You can just buy flame elements. So, instead of buying an extractor for a thousand, having to go into a mission and spend your time on the mission, you can just spend your money and just buy exactly the element you want. You can also buy extractor items here, but 
The main thing is you can buy Psy Stones. And because you can do that, it's incredibly helpful. It cuts down the grind. That way you can spend your time, if you want to grind, you can still spend your time uh, working on other pursuits. So we have a bartender in here. I mean, I'll show you her, but she doesn't really do anything special, per se. She's just a bartender just like Dawn is back at the Silver Lining. So nothing really special here. I'll just show you her just, just to be complete. Runa Sylvia. You just order cool drinks or hot drinks just like her. And I'll just exit. We have an alchemy shop. Here you can buy potions as well as parts. So if you need some savage bones, you, again, you don't feel like grinding. You can just go here and get the fangs, get the oil pockets. I'll, I'll buy some oil pockets, sure. I'm going to go ahead and just buy some oil pockets from him. Um, the reason why is the big oil pockets are used for the machines. So again, you don't have to grind to get all these oil pockets. Just spend your thousand bucks, maybe take out some wanted members. So, I think I went over most everything. Ah, we got just a general goods merchant here, Al Vega. Here you can buy um, Yasha fiber, which is used a lot. Um, you can buy the thin skin. Um, I'm gonna buy some fiber. I'm gonna buy uh, a couple grand worth of fiber. Just got paid, so we'll drop some coin on it. Okay, well, that's mainly all I wanted to show you here. Just kind of go through the new shops, show how they cut out some of the grind. Um, Dandelion is the developer of this game. I think they're doing a good job. I'm hoping. You know, it's early access. I hope everything will go well. And I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching my video today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.